Okay, hey, I got Justin Bibbs. Mm -hmm. How you doing, first of all? I'm doing good. Yeah. How so excited good. are you? Very excited just to be, you know, have a jersey up here. There you go, number 11. Yeah, just to have that. Yeah, I'm just excited. I'm blessed. All right, so tell us, you were at, what, played for the Red Claw, Red Claw Man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so That's what was that like? And what do you think your performance stood out that the Clippers brought you up on Wednesday? Um, I need to ask that question, but just uh, coming out of college, I was just more a three-point shooter oh, okay. and defense. And for me, uh, we lost our point guard, so I kind of had to handle the ball more and stuff like that. And that's something that a lot of people didn't see. What's your natural position? Shooting guard. Shooting guard. Yeah. All right. So I got to, I got to show you know a lot more of my game. You know, on ball, coming off ball screen. And, uh, I think he's just playing the right way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, hitting the easy passes and stuff like that. And just, you know, just trying to win. So your overall comprehensive strong suit is what? Shooting. Shooting. Yeah. So you're 50% three-point. Oh, that's pretty high. <laughs> that's pretty that's real high. I know. Yeah. I was up there in college, though. Okay. Yeah. Where was your college? In college. I went to Virginia Tech. Uh, college, I think I was like, yeah. well, I think one year, like, I was up there. 46, 45. What's the most points you ever scored? How many? 34. 34. Okay, All, right. Yeah. All right. So what do you think it's going to be like playing in the uh, NBA? What are your anticipations, your expectations? You know, how, how zealous are you to step out on that floor? Uh, to be honest, I don't know what to expect. You know, I'm, I'm just super excited. You know, even if I don't get out there, I'm you know, still be excited just to be around the guys and, you know, have the Clippers across my chest. You know, just, that's just a blessing, but uh, I'm just taking it. So this is a dream come true for you? For sure. For sure. For sure. So who's your inspiration inspiring you to uh, reach this pinnacle? My inspiration is probably my mom and dad. For sure. Okay. All right. She's always pushing me to be the best, you know, no matter what I do. For sure, John. Who was your uh, person that you tried to assimilate your game after? Uh, Who do you think you play like? I want to play like. <laughs> want to play like? Could play like. <laughs> I'm a big Kobe fan. Big Kobe. I don't, I don't play like him though. Oh, okay. But I think I could always you know, pick his brain and see what he did on the court. Right. But as far as playing somebody, I'm not for sure yet. Mm -hmm. So you guys play the Nets tonight. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts about playing the Nets? And have you studied them, or I mean, what what is the you're, you're studying them right yeah, now? Huh? Them, yeah. yeah uh, Who you focused in on? Who you think you may match up and get in the game? If I get in the game, uh, all the perimeter guys, really. Oh, okay. You know, all the perimeter guys. Uh, I'm not trying to be the weak link out there. So I'm trying to uh, you know, get everybody's tendencies down and stuff like that. Uh -huh. myself. And as you step out on the floor and you look up in the stands, what do you think that'll be like? You know, you're in the uh, Staples uh, Center and all the fans looking down at I you. Gotta, I gotta block that up. I have yeah. to. Uh, mm -hmm. But if I, it will be the second I look up. I might see my parents out there, but uh, you know, when the you know, game starts, you just gotta block it up. Where'd you grow up? Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. And so from Dayton, Ohio to L.A., big right. jump, huh? Nobody would have thought of that. I wouldn't have thought of that. So all your labor is paying off. So far, yeah. All right. Okay. So as far as your words of inspiration, what do you live by? What, what's the key that makes you tick? What's the thing that inspires you to be as good as you are to, to make it to the NBA? Because there are a multitude of people trying to make the NBA, but you've made it. That's an elite level. Uh, it's not... More so words, just you know what I've been through, mm -hmm. what my family been through, uh, you know all the struggles we went through growing up, in terms of like financially and stuff like that, and where we're from. So just being here is a blessing. I'm just you know, it's just not it though. Do you feel that that was your motivating factor to reach this pinnacle? For sure. You know, just to, you know try to repay what my what my family's done for me. I know I can't do it, you know, all material, but. Just be the person they, they want to be proud of. That's my strong point. And what do you feel like playing under Doc Rivers? What are your thoughts as far as his coaching ability and his ability to bring out the best in you? Um, I mean, hopefully he can do that, for sure. I um, appreciate sure he can. Uh, I mean, he's a great coach. I've seen and, uh, I mean, he gets along with the guys. 
it's not just playing close, but it seems like he's, he really knows the guys. And, um, I mean, I'm just happy to be under him. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm blessed. Okay, Justin. Well, look at the camera. Give a big shout out to whoever you like to shout out. Shout out. A major shout out to my brother, Jonathan. He'll be in the stands. Okay. Jonathan, uh, major shout out to him. He's here. And, uh,